At the beginning of December, School Superintendent Dan Gutekinds presented his preliminary budget outline for fiscal year 2016 to the school committee. Taking center stage in the presentation was a noticeable increase in special education funding on Tuesday, to December 16th, discussions continued at their meeting as the school committee learned more about the reasons for the request. We um, really came into the school year with um, an appropriations problem, um, unanticipated, and then um, had an influx of students coming in with some high needs. And that has um, provided us um, a bit of an issue for FY15 which um, carries into FY16. One factor cited by Director of Student Support Services, Mary Lammy, is an increased enrollment in the schools of students in need of services. We've had students come in um, already on IEPs with um, child-specific aids on the IEPs, um, uh, the need for a lot of related services like speech and OT, um, vision services, which is a contracted service piece for us, um, costly but necessary. Um, we've had some students move into Needham that um, require out-of-district placements. Transportation required for these placements, along with the Walker School Group Home, also have placed a strain on the finances. Another driving factor is the rise in students with emotional disabilities, particularly as they reach their teen years. The explosion of mental health, though, is going to happen whether we have good hands-on curriculum or just straight academics. It's something that happens with puberty and adolescence, um, unfortunately. I mean, there's more depression and anxiety disorders and major mental uh, health il illnesses. Budget requests to meet these needs include restoring out-of-district tuition, continuation of preschool positions, continuation of teaching assistance, expanding high school positions, and expanding related services. Also being considered is repositioning some existing resources, including staffing. Looking across the district at where we might be able to redeploy uh, uh, teachers who might not be needed at one level, but are definitely needed at another level. With so much emphasis on the budget, Interim Director of Special Education for K-8, through Linda Gross, cautions. I sometimes worry that we, we focus on the disability and the dollars and the techniques and lose sight of the bigger picture. This is our community. These are our kids. They're going to live here after they graduate from school. School committee member Heidi Black praises student services and expresses support. These requests will continue to come, I believe, and will continue to grow. And I think that our community needs to recognize that, that this department really is a, runs in a lot of ways 24 hours a day, certainly as an extend, extended day. And everybody here, I think, really does believe that it's not only the legal, but the moral and the ethical thing to do. Further budgetary discussions will take place during January as the school committee works to finalize a budget to be presented at town meeting in May. For the Needham Channel News, I'm Josh Eilberg.